All right, welcome to episode 38. It's taken us like half the year to do three episodes. This is <laughs> fucking amazing. Um, but I think we got this all figured out now, and I think we can start doing this um, every week again. So there's that. It was a really, really difficult <laughs> thing to learn how to do. <laughs> it was but we got it now um what's up with you uh you know just doing my thing <laughs> i'm shocked that there's like light in your room right now because usually you're sitting in pitch black i know i think it's well, well like the sun doesn't go down until like nine o'clock now so oh, that makes that's sense. why <laughs> yeah that does make sense anyway Oh, man, I've been fucking, I traveled for four weeks straight. I just got back home, like, I don't know, last week? I think it was last week. Fucking exhausting. But, Where'd you go? Did you go, like, cool places or, like, not cool places? Uh, I was in Florida. I was in D.C. Um, a couple other places, but those were the fun places. Um <laughs> Florida was always fun, especially in the summertime, but let's see, what what do we want to touch on today? Oh man, I, I experienced something new <laughs> while having sex. I was, um, I was fucking this girl, and she didn't used to have a roommate when I used to fuck her, and I like ran into her and decided I was going to fuck her again, and... Now she's got this roommate. And I get to her fucking house. Like, I ain't seen her in a while. So I'm like, you know, trying to fuck or whatever. And this, like, this chick pro is definitely one of the best blowjobs I've ever gotten in my life. If not the best. Um, so she's, like, blowing me afterwards on fucking. And the roommate is, like, right in the next room. Like, right next door. And I guess I'm, I can be very vocal when I come, you know? Oh, God. And, I mean, not like a woman, but, you know. Okay, that's what I'm picturing. I mean, I would assume you've heard me come before because you've seen it, so you should know. No. Oh, that's true. I forgot. Idiot. So, you forgot. Great. That's awesome. <laughs> that is fucking amazing. Um... So I'm fucking like, and she, like I said, she sucks such good dick. And I'm, I start to fucking come and I'm like, oh fuck, like I can't, I can't like make any noise. I literally had to like hold this shit in it. And I was coming so fucking hard. Like it ruined the fucking orgasm. Like straight up, it fucking ruined it. It was mm -hmm. horrible. I can imagine. Cause I like, I, when I have sex with guys, sometimes like they have roommates or like, a long time ago, like in high school and stuff, they live with their parents or whatever, and you have to be quiet. That sucks. I hate that. Like, I don't want to fuck with you if I have to be quiet. Yeah. That's stupid. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes I'll be meeting up with chicks or whatever, and they'll be like, um, you know, I'm really loud. I'm like, well, I'm in a fucking hotel. Like, <laughs> I don't know how loud you're going to be, but tone it down a little bit. <laughs> you can hear everything through fucking hotel doors. It's ridiculous. That's true. <laughs> oh, this I have. This is a good one. I qu I question this because I get a lot of you know a lot of videos from chicks or whatever when they're like playing with themselves, and I don't know if they're doing this for video effect or if this is something that they do without videoing, and that's saying "Oh, daddy, oh, daddy" or whatever the fuck they say as they come. I feel like it's for the video. For video. But it's prob it's probably like a case by case thing. But I would say more than half of them is probably just for the video. Yeah, that's what I thought. Keep that shit yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> Twice while I was gone this happened. Two different chicks I'm fucking and the butt plug falls out of their ass. <laughs> And I don't know if you've ever felt a butt plug on your leg or something right after it comes out of somebody's ass. It's really warm. I've, it's like really, I've, really warm. 
<laughs> I've felt it, yeah. <laughs> so the first time it happened, because it happened like it happened like within a week or two of each other. First time it happened, I was like, "This bitch just shit on me, <laughs> like the fuck." <laughs> That just landed on my fucking leg, because you know you you know the butt plug is stainless steel. I figured if it was a butt plug, it would come out nice and cold, and you know whatever. Obviously, I'm just not thinking, but yeah, I, I swear to God, I thought I got shit on. <laughs> I would think the same thing too. It fucking felt like it. I was very relieved when I you know was not shit on, but yeah. What else? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I was bowling fucking recently with uh, friends of mine i didn't put my shoes on there this time because these motherfuckers like to tell me i got small feet <laughs> <laughs> but i'm bowling and it's this fucking place is packed and i'm going down the you know going down the lane to fucking roll the ball my shoe catches i do like this full-on like f- diving forward twisting i was like man i just broke my back like it was, and I try, you know, you try to play it off real quick. <laughs> my friends are looking at me like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm like, make, trying to make sure I didn't like hurt myself from falling. I mean, I felt hard because I was in the air and like twisted. <laughs> I was, it was really, really um, unfortunate timing. <laughs> oh. I need to let my cat out. Hold on. She's oh, freaking God. out. You and this fucking cat. Okay. Oh, you're wearing clothes. Clothes? What are you wearing? Boxers. I mean, I'm in like shorts and a tank top. Oh, shit. What'd you say? Nothing. I listened to you say, oh, shit, as you dropped your earphone. Oh. <laughs> I, I, have we talked about like my little torture chair? Yes. We have. Uh-huh. Yes. I was having a lot of fun with that and an electric racket for killing like. Um, bugs. Killing bugs. Uh huh. What do you do with it? Well, what, I feel like there's so many things you could do with so it. So many. But I mean, <laughs> what brought me the most joy was having this chick, you know, bound to the chair or whatever, and she can't see that I have the racket in my hand. She knows I have the racket. Like we've been using it, but she can't see it. And I let her come, and right as she starts to come, I hit her with the, fu- I, not hit her, but zap her with the fucking racket. Completely ruin her fucking orgasm. The the look on her face, <laughs> <laughs> it just sucked all the joy out of her fucking face, like completely. And let me tell you, the video of that shit is hot. <laughs> oh my god, you got it on video? I want to see it. I have everything on video. I'll ask I want to see she, it. <laughs> She probably wouldn't care if I showed you. I'll ask her. Um, <laughs> but just the joy leaving her face, it was just so satisfying. And I, afterwards, I asked her, I was like, you know, it, what did it do? She was like, it stopped my orgasm. I was like, fuck, yeah. <laughs> I was kind of expecting it to, like, intensify the orgasm. But I, you know, I don't have... I think it's too distracting and, like, shocking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's tase you while you're about to come and see hey, what happens. Hey, relax, man, relax. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, what else we got going on? God, man, it's been a while. Um, I, I took some questions today on Instagram, but they um they weren't that great, to be honest. Um, I didn't look through them, but I see this really long Snapchat that I don't want to read. <laughs> oh, you Are you know, reading that? I know you're reading that shit. I, know that. <laughs> I, I, I got this this week, and I'm probably going to piss some people off with this, but I guess that's what we do. This girl wrote to me telling me about the, you know this conversation or whatever with her father who's like a religious nut like hardcore christian nut job oh god and i know i just pissed a lot of people off but you know as far as i'm concerned fuck religion um but 
and the reason I want it red because I, I just want people to see like how that kind of mind works. It's fucking bizarre. <laughs> Some of the things like that was being said in this. So if you'd like to kindly pull out your reading finger. So you want me you, to read you it? Look scared. Yeah. You look you <laughs> genuinely looked scared right there. I'm just like really not wanting to do this. <laughs> it's long as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready? <laughs> I am ready. Do you want me, do you want me to read your response or that's your that's you you're doing that? I can I can read that. That's I know what I said. <laughs> I don't okay. need my finger for that one. <laughs> okay. So, I, I do I have to read the whole thing? Like, is it actually important? Because I haven't read it yet. I don't, or can I, don't I like... remember if the whole thing's important or not, but I think, I mean, it's okay. not, it's not okay. that much, motherfucker. Jesus. I feel like it's so much. Like, it's going to take me six minutes to read this. <laughs> That's good. We got to burn some time up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It says... I'm saving up to move out, though. <laughs> is this the like not the start of the conversation? Apparently not. <laughs> okay. And I just don't ever like spending my own money. My dad was typical, telling me yesterday. That's a typical woman for you, right there. I mean, isn't that kind of everyone like who wants to spend their own money? <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Okay, my dad was telling me yesterday that because of my age and as I get older, he told me it's going to be slim pickings <laughs> when it comes to dating or finding guys that are husband material. So basically, he was just saying that oh. I need to settle. Hold on. Am I reading too fast? No, no, no. I want to set. This, <laughs> I want to set the scene though. This girl is in her mid to late twenties, and literally just got divorced in April. April. Okay. It's fucking. What month is it? June. June. Proceed. Do you know how long she was married? I don't think it was that long. I think it was like a like a like a Christian like <laughs> like arranged almost type of marriage, but not really. Oh. But but really. Okay. <laughs> um, so basically, he was saying he was just saying that I need to settle with someone I can get along with. I don't understand why my family wants me to start dating and jump into another relationship when I just got divorced in April. To make matters worse, my brother told me, to, no, my brother told my dad that I'm having sex with one of my friends. My dad gave me this long lecture and told me that I'm whoring myself and that my friend is only nice to me because he's getting what he wants. Then he went on and on about our society struggles with depression because people are because people are out fornicating and having casual sex. My family is really religious, though, and he went on and on about how I need to wait till marriage. And, well, she was already married, so he knows she's been fucking. <laughs> like, right. you know. Okay. And I need to wait till marriage and then listed all the traits that I have that would make someone want to be in a relationship with me. I cried because he said some nice things, and I also hate disappointing my father and in the past, I was always trying to be perfect and do all the right things so he would be proud of me. And all I said to her was, would you rather disappoint your father or disappoint yourself by living a life that's dictated to you? Like, I, it amazes me how people will, even if they even if they aren't themselves so much religious, how they will let their families like have this hold on them. And go through life living this fucking shitty life that they don't want to be living, but it you know it pleases their parents. Man, I don't give a fuck. Like I love my parents, I do, <laughs> but I don't give a fuck how they feel about what I do. Period. Whether <laughs> they you know whether they like it or not, I, I just don't care. And I it, like I'm gonna live my life for myself. And it just yeah, I, you can't you can't live a life to please other people family friends like anyone it doesn't even matter if, who it is even in, even the person even if you're with somebody in a fucking relationship like don't live to fucking please them you better please your fucking self or nobody else is gonna fucking please you yeah you have to it's all about yourself first and that probably sounds like really conceited or whatever you want to call it but like you are your number one like you have to be okay yeah i think that's a lot of people's problem though they're not you know like 
I wear the narcissism badge like a badge of fucking honor. You're goddamn right I'm in love with myself. Fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck that shit, man. There's too many people out here hate themselves, but fuck that. And and the narcissist is the one that <laughs> they, they pick on. <laughs> fuck y'all. <laughs> like, it's fucking, it's bizarre. And when I read that, I was just like, I, you know, how so many things came to mind. Like, yo, you're an adult, you're a grown woman. Like, you know, you know, you can respect what he says, but you don't have to listen to him. Like, I don't know. It's just so weird. I, I don't understand it. I couldn't do it either. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got. And you don't want to settle either. You don't want to just settle with just some random person. Like, don't ever settle. And I mean, but didn't that's how it sounded. It sounded yeah. he was like you need he to was find, telling her you need to settle. Yes, because you're find getting whatever old. You can and settle that's because no man's said. gonna want you. Yeah, like, 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 what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Like, how do you talk to your child like that? How? Do yeah, you, I mean, and you know, if you want to get real, like, how do you talk to your daughter like that? You, I mean, you want to? That's probably why she follows me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, very deep daddy issues. Because, like, I don't know. Uh, people are fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, you see anything interesting in these? Um, You know, that actually wasn't as long as I thought it was. I thought the second picture was, like, a whole other section. I know. I know you did. <laughs> um, <laughs> this, one, this one I thought was funny. Um, most men... Most men really think it's gay to have their asshole devoured. Why? Very rare to come across a freak that'll let me devour his asshole with my head pushed deeper between his ass cheeks, making me suffocate and beg for air. It's supposed to make a man feel powerful, no? Um, it does for me. Like, <laughs> it does. Like, it, you know, you're fucking a bitch's face. You got her head off the corner of the bed. You know, you're fucking her face, whatever, and you pull your fucking dick out of her throat and shove her face up your ass and make her eat your ass. Like, yeah, it's a fucking power move. Um, I don't know why anybody would think anything is gay other than being attracted to the same sex. So if that's, like, literally what gay is. So, I mean, and I know there's tons of straight men out there that like things in their ass, and they're completely straight. I, I used to have a friend that was like that. Um so I don't know. It Kanye sounds like paranoia, maybe, or I don't know what you call that. Insecurity. I don't know. You eat ass. Yeah. I've never done it, but that's. I was just gonna say I've never. It's hard to come across a guy that's like into anything at all, would like you? in that region. But you would eat ass. Um, it depends on the person. <laughs> Okay. how clean are you are you gross oh. like i don't know oh i have no problem telling a bitch to go get in the fucking shower because i'm about to eat her ass <laughs> none at all yeah but i'm not a dom like bitch go wash your ass so i can eat it like that's, no i don't do that that's you have a good point you probably <laughs> I might get smacked saying telling him to go wash his ass <laughs> um let's see um yeah, I don't know. Eating ass is great. You're missing out <laughs> if you're not having your ass eaten or eating ass. It's just fucking amazing. Um, read the one right under that. Because I only got through like the first sentence. I cracked up laughing and closed it. The yo, I have a question? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I haven't read any of these. I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo, I have a question. Have you ever made a chick come so hard she shit? <laughs> I was once fucking this girl doggy style and she was getting really into it. I could tell she was getting close and then as I thrust it inside and felt her pussy tighten around my cock, I could see her ass tensing and then suddenly shit was on my dick. <laughs> In the moment, I didn't really care. I just went straight to the washroom and cleaned up, but she was so embarrassed it was crazy. <laughs> That I I cannot say that I have. <laughs> I'm so happy to say that I have not experienced <laughs> that. I don't want to experience that. Shit dick is bad enough. <laughs> um, 
I feel like she should she should have known. She should have gone to the bathroom. <laughs> like you didn't just come so hard you shit yourself. Like that's not a thing. Is that a thing? <laughs> I don't think that's. A thing. I don't imagine it could be. The only way I would think maybe could, un- if you're doing anal, maybe you might like shit yourself. Okay, I could understand that. But if I mean, he wasn't. They wasn't. They weren't doing anal, so it wasn't that. Right. I had to go back in my head and was like, hold on. He said the pussy was grabbing him, so he was yeah. just basically shit on top of his dick. <laughs> <laughs> like just sitting on like a like on top of it. <laughs> Are you picturing what I'm picturing? Oh, absolutely. We have the <laughs> okay. same vision in our heads right now. <laughs> the exact fucking same. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> I, I'm just, like, trying to think, like, what would I... Like, I know what I would do, but, like, the schematics of it all... <laughs> She must have been so like, embarrassed. Gotta, like, I can only like, imagine. You gotta put your hand under your, I, I would assume, like, under your dick, pull and, out. And, like, balance it. And, like, <laughs> carry her shit to the fucking bathroom. <laughs> like, I don't want to be, like, that person, but I'm gonna be. Like, was it, what if it wasn't hard? What if it was, like, a soft one? <laughs> Why did you have to go there? <laughs> Well, then I guess you're not going to have to hold anything. You just got to go to the bathroom. You just need to shower and then, like, set yourself on fire and start over. (laughs) Oh, it's bad enough that women get so embarrassed from fucking shit dick, you know. Yeah. And, you know, I make it a point to, you know, if that does happen, like, I just go to the bathroom and watch. I don't say anything. You know what I mean? All right, they I already know they know where they're about to find, you know, figure it out or find out. So <laughs> I don't make I make a point not to say anything about it because it doesn't matter how cool you are with a chick, like she, it's an embarrassing thing. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so you know, I was thinking about it just like right before we got on here. Since we're now doing this, and there's no producer here other than me. So now I'm a producer. You know what I mean? Oh my god! Yeah, balling. Um, <clears throat> that I can send you the Bluetooth toys to wear while we do this. Oh yeah. Okay. Are you down? Yeah, I'll do it. The butt plug. the The Bluetooth butt plug is really big. I hold on. I have one. I just you do? I got one, and I and it's really big. And I wonder if it's the same one. Is it black? It is. Is it like silicone? It is. Oh my god! It's the same one. <laughs> Are half of the fucking sex toys created out there <laughs> silicone and black? No, but it's really big, and it's a Bluetooth butt plug. Let me see it. Okay, hold on. Let me go grab it. Okay. Yep, exact same one. Did you get the large? I don't know. But it's really big, so I'm guessing I I wouldn't imagine that there's one that's bigger. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. It's big as fuck. <laughs> yeah. I had to buy another I had to buy the small one because everyone was scared to fucking even attempt it. Oh, I use I've used it. <laughs> oh. Oh, have you? <laughs> yeah. Good. I'm going to use that as leverage from now on. Fucking yes, sir. Daddy sir does that shit. <laughs> she got the same. We are fucking butt plug twins out here. <laughs> and she'd be rocking that junk. <laughs> so We twin on everything, even the clap. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, though. It's been a while. Um. Okay, so... Uh, and I have a Wee Vibe. Um, I hate mentioning their name because because <laughs> they don't want to pay me. Um, <laughs> so I'll send that to you. I'll try to send it out tomorrow. So when we record next week, we can do that. Um, 
you want to put the butt plug in right now? Not at this current moment. <laughs> so I took a shot. Uh, <laughs> um. So yeah, both of them. I, I, I'm very curious to see how you handle both of them, and you, you can't come without permission. And we're doing both at the same time. I think we should. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that part when I agreed to this. Is that too much? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Yeah, we're going to find out. <laughs> this is going to be a good show. This is going to be a great show. Maybe for everyone else but me. <laughs> it would be great for me. I'm going to be sitting here with a hard dick not letting you come. It would be fucking amazing. <laughs> yep. I wonder if you'll be able to hear it because that thing's fucking loud. You definitely will be able to hear it because I there's past episodes where I had chicks in the in the studio with me with mm -hmm. them on and you can hear it in the background. You can hear it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because I've worn I wore this to work and I was like terrified like people could hear it. I'm, like it was hor I wore it to the movies and the people in the movies could hear it. <laughs> They're like. Is there a phone going off? There's a phone. Do you hear that? <laughs> like, I can hear everyone around me. I'm like, I don't hear anything. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> what movie did you decide that it would be a good idea to shove a huge butt plug up your ass? <laughs> I watch. don't want to talk about what Oh, movie. come on. No, you can't. No, nah, you got to tell us. Come on. I'm dying <laughs> to hear this. No, I can't. I really can't. Oh, God. Come on. I'll tell you later. I can't say it here. Yeah, fucking worst. <laughs> I can't. I probably won't even know what it is, to be honest. I didn't know what it was either <laughs> until I got there. <laughs> you just wanted to go be a whore in a fucking movie theater? Didn't matter what movie theater or... Okay, it if I tell you, like, I don't want people to, like, think I'm weird because I didn't know what the movie was I <laughs> until people, I got there. I think people already think you're weird. Okay. Fair. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but since you're going to tell us, I would like to know the whole thought process from the time you said, huh, there's the butt plug. Huh. I want it in my butt. Huh. Okay. I didn't decide to wear it. I was told oh, okay. to wear it. Okay. That's hot. And the movie. Oh, God. It's a kid's movie. Oh, my God. It's a kid's movie. I'm oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That's all we need to know. It doesn't, need... it doesn't matter which one. Holy shit. What is wrong with you? I didn't know. I didn't know. This bitch is up in Finding Nemo fucking her ass. But somebody else is fucking now. controlling it. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I didn't know in my defense. <laughs> Did you have to stay for the whole thing? Yeah, I stayed for the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> um, why don't you read this one... It's like right in the middle, top middle. The one that mentions you oh, in the first okay. line. <clears throat> Where? Oh, okay. I see it. Okay. Are we good to go? We're good? Okay. I absolutely agree with Yes Sir Daddy Sir that anal is amazing and you've taken shits bigger than his dick. <laughs> She that makes me think of that guy that got shitted on. Like, was the shit bigger than his dick? <laughs> you ask the tough questions. You get to the bottom of shit, don't you? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. What helps me most before anal is a nice big weighted plug to prepare my ass oh, for God. his dick. I was worried where that was going for a second. Why? A nice big, and I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> nice big shit. <laughs> I mean, I suggest taking one maybe before. <laughs> yeah, 
Is there water in them or whatever? Um, where am I? Okay, there is no cervix in the way of that big nine-inch cock from going all the way in. It's so big and deep. <laughs> Like writing a romance novel. <laughs> That's I know. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> now, what doesn't work, dicks of any size, is penetration immediately so rough it causes tears and bleeding. I hooked up with this guy in December. He was funny and charming, so I figured, why not? I should not have. I told him my sexual preferences in the bedroom. He made a solid attempt and failed. His biggest mistake was shoving two or three anal toys in my ass at once. <laughs> And then fucking my poor abused ass like I was a goddamn porn star. I actually kicked him off me and went into the bathroom to cry. <laughs> the shitty thing is he was only four inches. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um How does that happen? <laughs> I want to see these toys. Like, what were they? Right, right. <laughs> they must have been sounding right. Like, what are you talking about? Three toys at once in your ass? Like, I've definitely made chicks put two dildos in their ass at the same time. Three sounds like, um, like it would rip you wide open. Um, but three at the same time, like, did you guys record this? Because I would love to see that. <laughs> I, I'm guessing that she told him her sexual preferences. So I'm guessing because she follows you and listens to the podcast that she's a sub. So if she told him that, maybe he didn't know how to dong. I'm just going to do a credit. And I was like, I'm just going to shove a bunch of shit and shit and just, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, he didn't know well, what to I do. Obvi- like, I don't think he's a, a dom, obviously, because she said she had to explain her sexual preferences to him. Like, you wouldn't have to do that if he was, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, like, if he didn't know at all what she was into and she was just like, this okay. is what I'm into. I guess so. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Um it's, uh, sounds painful. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had anything, anything other than one toy up your ass at the same time? No. Want to change that? <laughs> what are we talking about? That's what I need to know first. Um, I the times that I've made chicks do that, it's always just been like, just like regular dildos. So question, do they do like one at a time or they do both at the same time? No, like, I'm one. just thinking like how you, how you do it. It has to be both at the same time, right? No, I think no, that one in first and then push. Them really? Down. Yeah. I feel like I'd want to just do both at the same time. Like if you could. Hey, go for it, champ. <laughs> go for gold. Shoot your shot. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can shit everywhere, I guess. I don't know. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Talking a lot about shit today, huh? I was just thinking that. That was weird. I was literally just thinking that. <laughs> Maybe I'll name this episode Shitty Balls. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh my god, someone sent me a picture of a hairless cat. I've got so like, many. A bunch of like saggy like boobs. And he said, this is Mr. Titty Balls. I've gotten so many cat, bald cat pictures of people being like, this is Mr. Titty Balls, like three or four. and then chicks, I love it. Then chicks started sending pictures of their tits um, and calling them Titty Balls. And now they're all calling themselves titty balls, and I'm, yeah, I'm posting. You're about it all over my Snapchat. It's great. It's fucking great. Hashtag titty balls. Make Hashtag it a thing. Titty balls. <laughs> this chick, I I was on video on my Snap um, yesterday, and this chick was like, I and I said titty balls on it. She was like, titty balls is not a word that you would that does anything like sexual or 
hot about it, and she said, and somehow you managed to make it hot. <laughs> I, was, I was literally doing it the way I was doing it on the podcast. Titty ball, titty ball, titty ball. Um, <laughs> so hot. But, like, people are, like, like using the titty ball slang. I love it. <laughs> I've said that shit my whole life like a fucking idiot. Why? Just, like, know, where did that come from? From my brain. <laughs> So we got titty balls and shitty balls. <laughs> titty balls and shitty balls. <laughs> what will next week bring? <laughs> Fucking coming balls. Mm-hmm. That's next. Biggie week. balls, biggie balls. We need some big balls. Maybe I'll maybe I'll show you my balls while you're <laughs> again while you have your fucking Bluetooths in. Let me see your balls, weirdo. You have nice balls. I liked your balls. Thanks. You're welcome. I appreciate that. I don't even, like, I don't know how to take that. Like, is, is, that, is that a good thing? Is well, I mean, like, thing? they're not, like, saggy. But I also don't mind saggy ones either. <laughs> <laughs> saggy balls! Oh, my God, that's the next one. <laughs> saggy balls. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the whole... I'm so excited for saggy balls. The whole I can't wait. Jesus Christ. Oh man, where's the woman asking about choking? Because this coincides with something that I realized I like a lot and I've been doing it a lot recently. About yeah. choking? Oh, sorry if this has been discussed, that one? Yes, and I'm sure it has, but go ahead, read it. Okay. Um Sorry if this has been discussed, but what's the best way to get choked without passing out? This was never an issue before, but now with both of my different partners, when they choke me, I come close to passing out. I have to literally tap out. I guess they both happen to change their grip. Well, so what's the question? <laughs> like that's, um, that, The point of choking someone out is literally to for them to pass out or come very close to passing out passing because out. Yeah. that's where the euphoric feeling comes from it's from a lack of blood and oxygen to the brain um but not oxygen from your windpipe the oxygen in your blood i would assume because you don't really restrict the windpipe because you can kill somebody like that um but what i, I mean <laughs> most chicks like want to pass out they you know most of them do want to pass out you know i i feel like it's euphoric you can tell it's euphoric i can tell by watching their faces that it's euphoric especially yeah. if it's well you know if it's going on while they're coming um, well ex yeah that's the best um but you know it just it depends on the chick but any man that's choking you out should be able to use his eyes to see how close you are to coming to passing out and if you're not into passing out, as you know, he should be able to see that. You shouldn't have to tap out. He should be able to see that and loosen his grip and let some blood flow to your brain. Um, but what I found out recently that I really like to do, <laughs> instead of choking, when a bitch is about to come and I let her come, like right as I tell her she can come, I cover her mouth and her nose completely hand to the back of the head can't breathe at all okay As she comes they, mm -hmm. they they seem to like it a lot i feel like that would be nice i would like that the look in their eyes is fucking hot because they're like am i gonna die and i'm like i don't know maybe bitch <laughs> yeah great <laughs> well, i like when like a guy like shoves his fingers down my throat when i'm coming i like that i do that shit during sex just during sex i never thought about doing it while they're coming I'll try that. That's might try that tonight. Okay. About to rearrange let me, some little. Let me know how it goes. Inside. About to rearrange some little bitches' insides for the first time. So that'll be cool. Um, this girl at the bottom thoroughly enjoys our podcast. I really only put that in there because I look. I like looking at her tits. She's got some good tits. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what? That's the only reason why you put that in there. It literally, it was next to everything else. You just wanted else. me to see that or something. It was next to everything else. I was like, 
Yeah, let me just throw that in there too. It'll be nice to look at while we're doing this. <laughs> Not that your tits are nice to look at, but I thought you'd be in darkness and I wouldn't be able to see your your tits. So, yeah. you, can you see them now? All I can really see is a little cleavage because it's a black shirt, so you can't see like anything else. Pull them titty balls out. Let me see this shit. Damn, you got nice tits. <laughs> that made my dick tingle. Oh, good. <laughs> Um, have we caught all, did we go through all these? There really wasn't that many. Cause I, when you hook up with people, do they know you run the, your fuck boy account? Uh, if I'm hooking up with somebody that I, I met outside of social media, um, I don't make it a point to tell anybody. If somebody asks me what I do for a living, I tell them. Um, but I, I don't make it a point to tell people my friends on the other hand, seem to make it a point especially if they're drinking to let everyone know what i do and who i am that's kind of annoying to be honest um but no i don't i don't make i don't try not to make it a point i don't want to talk about it like people start acting funny so i don't like talking about it with anybody <laughs> really does anybody surely people that you've slept with in the past must know uh yeah I mean, like, more so, like, with my friends. Like, when my friends ask me about it, like, I don't really like talking about it. I don't know. I don't mind talking about it with my friends, but... I don't... I don't... Well, with anybody. Like, I just... I don't know. I don't really like it. Yeah, it is what it is. But... Because I feel like people make it, like, a big deal, and I'm like, it's not a big deal. Um... If it's... If I'm just talking amongst my actual... Like, my close friends, they... Like, all of them are you know they wouldn't treat me differently and the ones that unfortunately have i've had to cut out of my life and unfortunately it's been a quite a few of them um start acting funny and differently but that you know that's life but like my closest closest friends like I'll, we can talk about it they're not like they don't sweat me over it they don't they think you know they're happy for me um so yeah i don't know People are fucking weird. Uh, <laughs> this one, where, wait, where's the confidence one? Um, I saw that one. Where did it go? I found it. How do guys who are not confident with women approach them? The right way to express to a woman how he wants, how he just wants to be friends with benefit and not in a relationship without having a chick taking it in the wrong way. Um, I'm a big fan of just being up front. <laughs> like, if she takes it the wrong way, she she wasn't down for it anyway, so fuck her. On to the yeah. next one. Um, the confidence thing. I, I don't know, man. Fake it. Fake it till you make it. Try to build your confidence by talking to fucking boogers in the bar and, you know, fake it till it's real because eventually it'll turn real. Um, I... And as far as, like, the friends with benefit thing, I learned that lesson a long fucking time ago. Just tell them straight up. And nine times out of ten, I'm not going to tell the psychology behind it. <laughs> Cause, oh, God. Because there is psychology to it. But nine times out of ten, they're going to fucking, they're going to be down with it. If they're into you, they'll be down with it. Um, and if they're not, like I said, they, you know, probably suck in bed and have fucking chlamydia or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think being honest is definitely always the best. If I try to fuck a bitch and she, you know, it doesn't work out and she doesn't let me fuck for some reason or something like that, I always just tell myself, uh, she got herpes. I, I, it's cool. Like, that's why. So it has nothing to do with me. It's, it's her. She has herpes. <laughs> of course. It's not you. It can never be you. No, of course not. It's never like you're too old or anything. Oh, bitch, I will smack the shit out of you. <laughs> It's been a while. I had to get one in. Oh, God. I'm sure. I don't think you've missed an episode yet. <laughs> Just because there's been a long time in between doesn't mean a fucking thing. Did you miss me? I mean, you're all right. <laughs> you know, now that I have this thing seemingly figured out, um, I do want to start getting some guests on here. And. One of them is this dude I partied with um, over the weekend. My 
friend had like um, VIP passes to a country festival or some shit. I hate country music, but my God. Man. Oh, yeah. I saw you. You were there. The fucking whores. I've not seen so many fucking labias hanging out at fucking Daisy Dukes in a long fucking time. And a lot of them are probably your type. Little blondes with whore oh, roots, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. That was that was like perfect for you. That yeah. was like heaven. Yeah. I mean, it was I. Right. It was a mix of <laughs> it was a mix of that and what Walmart in the world did I? Do I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all well. You got to sprinkle some Walmart people in there. Always. Holy fucking shit, bro! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So we go to this fucking thing, and my friend is close with um, the guitar player for whoever was the headliner that night. I don't know country music, and I don't remember the name of the band. Um, so he, him and a couple other band members came back to a friend of ours' house afterwards and partied with us for a little while. Um, but this dude is, you know, he's funny as shit. He had me cracking up all night, and I was talking to him. I was like, man, you should, you know, I would love to hear some of your stories on, on my podcast. I'm sure, you know. I'm sure you've got a lot, you know, being a fucking country rock star. I, I hesitate to say rock star, but, but no, we can't say country rock star. That doesn't go together. Yeah, so what do you call him? A rock star? Just a, no, just a country country boy, music, a country music star, <laughs> a country music star. OK, fair enough. <laughs> um, so I want to try and get him on here. Uh, I think that'll be funny. And I also very, very soon want to get Scouse Ma on here. Um, we're going to have to work out the times because there's such huge time differences. But that bitch is funny, especially if we can get her, like, after she's had a couple of gins. Man, <laughs> that bitch is <laughs> fucking funny. There's no, there's no more f- fun person to watch on Twitter when they're shit-faced in the middle of the night than her. It's amazing. She, does she tweet or does she like post videos? Like, what does she do? She just fucks with everyone. She tweets and just, just trolls, like trolls the oh. fucking internet. And oh, cool. Yeah, it's really funny. She is something else. Um, did we get through all of these? Oh, I don't know. I think we should do another therapist one, but it's got to be a we, therapist. We, Huh. We need a therapist. We need another therapist. That was fun. That was cool. That was fun, but I think she was fucking mortified. Why? I don't think she knew what she was signing up for. What she was getting into? Yeah, I don't think she had a fucking clue. Because her face on a lot of those questions, <laughs> a lot of the fucking shit I was saying, she would be like, what the fuck? I'm looking at her like, have you ever listened to our podcast before? Like, why did you ask to to be on it? Um, you know, I appreciate her coming on it, but like, I, I think we caught her off guard. I definitely do. Um, it was fun though. I liked, it was fun. It was a lot of fun that. to listen to people's issues. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like more of her response, like the, the psychology behind it. That's what I want to know. Like why about the rape fantasies? I'm sure that's very easily explained. I'm sure I could explain if I thought about it for 10 minutes. Probably not <laughs> even that long. Um, why don't you read this last one? I think it's the second from the top. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay. The second from the top. My friends is the first part of the name. Oh, Okay. I've been fucking this dude for a few months and we've actually become really good friends. Not sure how it happened, but we have a lot in common. He has the biggest dick I've had in a long time, literally hits my cervical wall (laughs) and it's the best, roughest sex I've had in an even longer time. How do I remain friends with this person and keep him as a daddy? Um, uh, uh, Where's the conflict? (laughs) I, I don't either. I was I was wondering that too. Like, just keep doing what you're doing. Sounds like it's going great. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Do you want a promise ring or something? Like, I don't get it. Like, what? It, it's 
Sounds just like... keep doing what you're doing. It's working, obviously. So yeah, having good <laughs> sex with somebody you you get along with, just don't fuck up and make the mistake of thinking, oh, we can make this into a relationship and then ruin your lives. Mm, yeah, <laughs> don't do that. We can tell you what not to do. <laughs> because, I mean, that's what it sounds like where it's headed. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, definitely. She's getting dickmatized. Yeah, by her new best friend. Besties. <laughs> Next time she messages us, she's going to be like, so this fucker just moved out. <laughs> <laughs> he ghosted me. He ghosted me. I've never been ghosted. You've never been ghosted? I've never been ghosted. Oh, I have. Like when subs like are too scared to have a conversation, they'll just fall <laughs> off. Just fall off completely. And I'm just a I, regular conversation? I can't imagine why there would why what other reason there would be. Like other than thinking it's gonna go bad. Like I don't give a fuck. You wanna stop sleeping with me because you're dating somebody? Okay, cool. I don't care. But that's when, probably what it is. I would imagine that's what it is. They're dating someone and they don't want to tell you because they think that you're gonna be mad or be sad or whatever. Yeah, I don't care. Not at all. <laughs> Okay. Not I mean, I'm not saying you do, but that's probably what that's their thought process. Not even a fucking little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, and my dick will be here waiting when you guys break up. Unless you Cuz you're going to break up. Unless you cross certain age restrictions at that point. What's the restriction? I'm getting close to your cutoff, I think. Um I mean, like I basically roughly say like I really don't sleep with anybody over 30. Yep, mm -hmm. it's happening. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> um, I, I was when I was traveling. I had been out with um, a couple buddies of mine fishing all day, and I I'm sure I know I've talked about it before, but I've got have a shirt that says hashtag Insta Famous. It's I wear it as a joke, and we had been fishing all day. And I had this shirt on, and we go into a 7-Eleven. And I see the girl. I'm standing in line. I see the cashier. She looks at me. I see her read my shirt. And I already knew she was going to ask me. And she did. As soon as I walked up, she was like, are you really Insta-famous? I was like, yeah, I guess. You know, I guess that's what she called it. <laughs> I guess you could say that. And she's like, who are you? And I have cards that I carry in my wallet. And I threw her a card, and she was like, Mind you, I was fishing all day. I looked like complete shit. Complete <laughs> shit. I should have lied to the bitch, to be honest with you. I looked fucking, I looked like I'd been on, on a fucking river all day. And I threw my card down, and she looks at it, and she's like, oh, my God, I follow you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Wow. Well, don't, don't tell anybody you saw me. <laughs> don't, don't replay the video on the back and sell it to anybody. Like, I look like shit, um, but no, that was that was cool. So that is cool. Yeah. All right, let's wind this thing up so I can get ready to destroy this bitch's cervix. Okay, and do the finger thing. What finger thing? In the throat. Oh, okay, I will. I'll do that. Okay. All right, wrap this shit up. Okay, um, sweet dreams, nighty night, dream of that pussy being tight. Okay, and we will be back next week with another one. Um, another one. <laughs> All right, DJ Khaled, settle down. We the best. <laughs> I'll allow that one. <laughs> I will. All right, catch you next time. Um, Thanks for listening. And uh, remember, always be a good girl for daddy. You filthy bitch. <laughs>